A drainage ditch overgrown with brush is a concern for a Brownsville couple. They tried to get the problem resolved for years. We tried getting that problem fixed about six months ago, and what we found out today may surprise you. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez has this Five on Your Side update. And all the dirt, the loose dirt, goes into the ditch. It's been nearly six months since we first notified county leaders about this overgrown ditch. I'll personally call the irrigation district, find out if they're involved here. And I might just have to bring them all, all the parties to the same place. Yeah. We can all meet and go, go to Mr. Gutierrez's home and they can all take a look at it. Okay. They can bring their own planners and surveyors as well. That's what Commissioner Precinct 2 Alex Dominguez told us in October when Jose Gutierrez reached out to us for help. Today, the ditch remains a problem. Now it holds standing water in it. Gutierrez fears this mess will cause his home to flood. Well, uh, trees and has uh, been growing and uh, the water doesn't run like it used to. I know it's going to flood. Jose Gutierrez says he's reached out to county commissioners, irrigation district number six and drainage district number one, hoping someone will clean up the mess. It used to be clean before when uh, another uh, manager uh, used to be in charge, but apparently I don't know why this one doesn't uh, clean it. We went to the Irrigation District 6 office to find out what is being done to fix this issue. General Manager Tito Nieto would only answer our questions off camera. Nieto showed us these maps, which he claims show no record that this ditch belongs to his district. Gutierrez's property deed does show that Irrigation District 6 owns the easement. Nieto says right now they are preparing for peak irrigation season. Even if the district wanted to help Gutierrez out of courtesy, it does not have the funding or machinery needed to clear out this ditch. We also call Drainage Ditch 1 in Brownsville, who Gutierrez pays taxes to. An employee with the Drainage District named Mary tells us the ditch does not belong to them. She adds the board members and general manager have spoken to Gutierrez many times, and although they feel for him, can't help him. Gutierrez is 84 years old, recently had hip replacement surgery, and is diagnosed with ALS. He says if he could, he would take care of the issue on his own. When we knew that it, uh, there was a hurricane coming or a heavy rain or something like that, we used to travel back and forth uh, on the dish and, and pull in anything out that uh, would clog the pipes on her but uh, now I can't do it. He wants the runaround to stop and is asking the rightful party to take responsibility. I need the help and we need to help. The whole neighborhood needs to help. Commissioner Dominguez tells us today it has also been hard for him to get the answers he needs. He adds it's been back and forth between the drainage district and irrigation district. He's now planning to get the county engineers involved to track down the party responsible. Gutierrez hopes it doesn't take another six months to get these county leaders moving. We'll keep following this story. In Brownsville, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6. The Cameron County Emergency Manager Tom Hushin tells us the county has submitted requests for projects that would help improve three flood prone areas. This is the Channel 5 News Extra. A $1 million request was made to help clear out an overgrown ditch at the Paso Real subdivision near Brownsville. Funding from the federal government could be approved as soon as May. Federal funds have also been requested to improve drainage in the Olmito and Mariposa Ranch near La Feria.